So what is the the main goal of the of the number theoretic number theoretic transform? Um, and it's basically to do with the difference between so-called coefficient form and evaluation form of, of polynomials. So to produce a Stark, right, a computer has to have a very uh, a very large polynomial in its memory. Basically, it's a polynomial with a lot of components. Um, and there's basically two ways to write down a polynomial. One way is, is the more traditional way that you're probably familiar with. You write it down in coefficient form. So I can say I have a polynomial P of X, and that's A3 X cubed plus A2 X squared plus A1X plus A0, right? This is a this is a degree three polynomial because three is the the exponent here. And you can see that there are basically four pieces of information that are needed to convey this polynomial, right? We need a3, a2, a1, and a0. So if if those four numbers, a3, a2, a1, a0, are, are written down in your computer's memory, then you, you know everything you need to know about the polynomial. The other way you could write down a polynomial is in evaluation form. And this is just to say that you know, you can evaluate a polynomial at several points, right? A, a polynomial is a function. You can give it a number and it spits out another number, or you can give it a finite field element and it will spit back out another finite field element. And if you take four different locations and you evaluate the polynomial at those locations, then that's essentially as good as giving you the, the polynomial coefficients. Because uh, as we'll see, there, there are ways of going back and forth between these two things. And this is really important for, for the sort of Stark software because it turns out that the, the, the person who's producing a Stark proof is actually going to have to do operations that, that involve both of these forms. You know, there will be um, a list of evaluations and the the prover is going to have to, you know, publish some of those, and then there will be a coefficient form that the that the prover will transform it back into to do some sort of arithmetic operations on these polynomials to sort of reduce them. Um, and so, basically, it's it's very critical that we be able to to pass between the coefficient form and the evaluation form that we should be able to tr take a coefficient form polynomial and transform it into an evaluation form. And also if we have an evaluation form, if we have a bunch of different evaluations, we should be able to find the coefficients back from those evaluations. And so we need a efficient way of going basically back and forth between the two versions. Um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll stop and I'll just make sure that, um, ask if anyone has any questions, assess if anyone's sort of confused by anything or as any sort of thing they want to resolve before I move on. Could you, uh, this obviously we're operating our finite fields in this, in this context, we want to use polynomials as the bases. Could you also use polynomial bases in non-finite field context, context, like in, over the real numbers? Uh, yeah, sure. So um, I guess what we're going to see here is that uh, there's a there's a transformation between evaluation form and coefficient form. And that's basically there's there's four variables and four unknowns, it, at least in this case, it could be more. Um, but I, I don't see any reason why you couldn't do it uh, using real numbers instead, it would just be, you know, you would just be using the mathematics of the real numbers or some other field. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a finite field. Um, although, although it does have to be a system of numbers in which you can divide, that actually is important. So it does have to be a field rather than a ring, if you know the mathematical dis difference between those two things. Mm -hmm. That's helpful. Um, just ask, um, 
so you have these coefficient and evaluation form. Does it mean that it's possible to evaluate po the polynomial without knowing the coefficients or not using the coefficient directly? Uh, well, so it should be possible to evaluate the polynomial at any point given uh, the coefficients. Um, I guess you could say that you, you do that directly by just, you know, sort of multiplying things out. And, I, and that's something that I'll uh, show later. But perhaps something that I should, should emphasize is that um, the evaluation form you, is not just a single evaluation of the polynomial, but multiple different evaluations, right? Um, if, if I just give you a single number, a single point at which a particular polynomial is evaluated, that's not enough to tell you the whole polynomial because you know there might be many polynomials that that pass through that one point. Um, so you actually sort of meet, need quite a bit of information, and um, there's sort of a distinction between doing doing the computation directly and and doing it in a way that sort of is the sort of more number theoretic transform way, which is a, a bit more indirect, but actually gives you a lot of data all at once. I think the question, if I understood correctly, was if you just start with the evaluation form, can you evaluate at different at points that are not your x0, x0, x2, x3? Um, not if you start with the evaluation form. Ah, that's OK. I, I understand. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's a real direct way of doing that. but. I mean, so one way that you could do it is if you had an evaluation form and you wanted to evaluate at some place that was not uh, one of the points at which you had evaluated, you could take your evaluation form. And if you had a way of changing that into coefficient form, you could go into coefficient form. And then maybe you could, once you had it in coefficient form, you could then evaluate it at the point you wanted by you know multiplying things out. So I actually have some more context on this because uh, I was randomly reading about this earlier. Basically, this is a big deal in the snark in the snark world right now, where they want to try to eliminate entity from uh, snark uh, generation computations. And there, there's a as in there's a valuation form called the very centric evaluation, which does indeed allow you to uh, to evaluate the polynomial at a different point without going through coefficient form first. Um, okay. And it is better under very kind of in, under niche circumstances. Uh, here's actually, a, a, I just posted in the chat, a link to a, an article by Vitalik on this topic that also links to a paper that has more information as well. Yeah, Vitalik's articles are always great. OK, great. Thanks Thanks for that. Uh, something, something I think I didn't know. So I'll probably read that article later. 